All right, guys. Take your cats off your pens. Start selling your sheets. like to say something? Right. I know it, 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 it does sometimes become a grind waking up early every time, but <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Some days it was tougher than other ones. Some days I want to, I, I woke, I got out of bed and I want to play tennis like really badly. I want to go to the gym. I want to get better. I go to the gym after, after tennis finished. I want to get better, but it's, it's not for everybody. I mean, if you guys work hard and believe what you guys want to do, you can definitely achieve it. It's just a matter of the will, and if you want to accomplish it, I'm Very good. Yeah. You know, the coaches and my peers that, you know, all these six years was really amazing. It was a journey. Uh, all those times we played, you know, matches, Michael, soccer, <laughs> it, was, it was really fun. Um, I'm definitely going to miss you guys. And I know this year uh, I chose to go more for school than tennis, um, but Whatever you go to, if you go to a good school for tennis or academics, just know that everybody here is here to help you, and they're gonna support you all the way. That's how I felt. So yeah, just thank you, everybody. Um, the school I'm going to definitely isn't the most traditional college. Um, I'm gonna miss you guys. Um, I'm going to Cal State Fullerton. Um, I know it's not the most such a fun time. Thank you, Yakupo, for always believing in me, always pushing me to be the best and getting mad at me when it was supposed to. <laughs> Thank you, Chrissy, for always playing doubles with me and always encouraging me to play more. And special thanks to my first coach, Alejo, <laughs> for having to deal with me every day, crying or happy, being my second dad, and then also Adrian, he was my first coach when I first came here when I was nine years old, and he is now. So thank you to everyone. I love you all. Yeah. I've been here for the past almost four and a half years, and a lot of people say that it's hard to live in dorms, but for me it honestly became my second home. And I met so many people throughout so many years, and I work with almost every coach here, and it's just going to be very sad for me to leave this place because I've made so many memories here with everyone. And I want to give special thanks to Ayuta mm -hmm. because <laughs> she had to deal you know, with my breakdowns, um, me worrying about school, my injuries, me being mad on the court. <laughs> and I think it was for all of your students, but we're very grateful for you and your patience and your passion for tennis, so thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Well, um, it has been great being here. Like I have made a lot of friendships, and I'm so happy because these girls are uh, were always supporting me in and out of the court. Also, Juan Camilo, like you helped me a lot through this whole process, and I'm so glad and very excited because. Well, you help me every day, and then here I am. And I am so grateful for everyone here. Everyone, good luck in the future, and thanks for always being for all of us. So thank you. First of all, I want to thank all the coaches for like always treating me with, with respect. Even though I'm not always like the best example in court. <laughs> 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 And then also to all my friends that I got to know, and I'm really going to miss them. Yes, I know I've been taking up a lot of tennis this year, and don't imitate me if you are not going to a Canadian school, because I'm really aiming for the IB program, and that's really what I'm working on. So, so 
Yes, so don't imitate me. It's not good. <laughs> I, re I regret, I kind of regret what I've done, but. <laughs> but, but by this point, it doesn't matter anymore. And <laughs> um, coaches, for, for the guys, um, you guys inspire me every day. Like, you guys make me work harder, and I know I'm going to take it. You know, I'm not taking the most uh, traditional route going to another high school. Um, I just want to thank you guys for, because I know I'm going to be able to take what, what you guys gave me. And um, I also thank you, everyone. Uh, you guys made these two years like, incredible. I couldn't have asked for it. Uh, two better other years, so like thank you guys, everyone. Oh. I want to say thank you well, to all the coaches and all the kids here because you all have made it like very fun in different ways. To all the activities that we had from soccer, my ball, to matches, normal training, they both had like. <laughs> they all had like very good experiences and I really liked it and thank you to all the coaches for keeping up with me from being more academic and going to school a lot as well as my injuries so thank you all for making me have two good years thank you it's been a tough three years and um it was mostly filled with injuries, but every time I came back from an injury, like the coaches here would always stand by me and they would also, always support me. I'd also like to thank Alejo for always being here every time I got injured. <laughs> um, yeah, I'd like to thank everyone for all your love and support. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. I just want to say you represented um, the, the name Everett Academy so professionally and with a lot of integrity and you guys were the leaders um, of the group and you really <coughs> impressed us with just the discipline, the commitment, the everyday activities, um, the integrity really that you had and I think that you've lived an adult life, you've lived a professional life and you've managed your time, learned a lot by managing your time very very well. You've learned a lot about teamwork and friendships and and being individuals, right, and being independent, and that's going to just fly right into college, and that you're going to use that in a positive way, and a lot of other kids going to college don't have that, trust me, but you have that, and you know, I hope you guys have a little fun in college, because, or you'll probably have a lot of fun, especially in that first year, and that's, watch out for the first year, because they say, you know, sometimes kids have too much fun, but you've, you've led, again, such a structured life, and it's going to continue to be that way, but I think it'll allow for a little more fun, and you certainly, certainly deserve it. So the best of luck in your new journey, and we, we want you to keep coming back here and keeping in touch with us. Um, but just on behalf of all of us, we're, we're just really proud of you. So congratulations.